Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make text animation for your uh, your Fortnite intros or your Fortnite highlight videos or whatever the fuck. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go and add a bunch of video tracks. I'm going to add three for now. And your bottom one right here, uh, you're going to want to type your text. So I'm going to type Digno right here. And just use, uh, I'm using the IFC Insane Rodeo font. Just like so. Uh, we can go ahead and just make that smaller, move it, uh, move it up a bit, like there. And now you want to make a new one you can just copy that and make this a edit by uh, we can put that slightly above shrink it just like that and now add a couple more of these and make the underscore uh, symbols like just like so uh, you can go ahead and drag it down if you want to make it thinner then just add a whole bunch of these gonna do that and I'm gonna copy it again and I'm actually gonna move it right there and I'm gonna delete three of these and now we have something like that now obviously the design is completely up to you this guide will work with anything so just keep that in mind uh, the initial part is just uh just designing the thing pretty much of the intro so i'm gonna do that i think that looks decent <laughs> and we can go into this and i'm gonna drag this down and i'm gonna put it above right here uh if it's if it's too thin you can just drag it out and i think that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. We can drag it in a slight bit, just like so, and go ahead and just make this one right here. And okay, drag it out a bit more, maybe. Okay, that's gonna be my logo design. I know it's not the best, but you know, it is what it is. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is start with animating the uh, just animating the text pretty much. You want you want it to be a smooth transition, you know. So we're gonna start with this big one right here. Uh, I feel like that'd be the easiest. Go into cropping tool, mask, click on this first frame right here, and make. You can get creative, but this is just like slightly. It's just a quick guide on how you actually want to do it. So do that, and uh, maybe. Uh, 350 I don't really know we can do that so it's actually gonna look like this uh, if we wanted to start smaller we can just make the uh, the initial cropping or the initial keyframe be smaller we can actually just do do that pretty much just make it completely invisible and that'll look like that uh, now you want to start with the lines up there as well uh, th this bottom or this one right here and do this uh, click on the first one and we can just take the outside I'm just winging this so the design is as I said completely up to you enable masking of course and 350 in uh, just go ahead and drag that onto the thing and do that with this top one as well except reverse it because it is on the other side so add a key from right there, go back, not there, there, go back, enable masking, uh, add a square on the other side, and go to this keyframe, and just drag it over, like so, we have an animation that looks like this, uh, it is a bit unsmooth, but that is because of the length of the actual uh, lines right here. As you can see, the, the left one is longer than the other one. Uh, since this is a tutorial recorded in real time, I can't really be asked fixing it. But you can just play around with it and make sure they are exactly the same length. Uh, yeah, so now we can go to these ones right here. And we can start from the, uh, the other side this time. So just right there. Uh, 350 in and drag it over and I don't think these are gonna be the same size either but it is what it is you know don't really care uh, just enable mask and click on the first one make a square 
and drag it in. Now we have this. As yeah, as mentioned, it's not going to be completely accurate, but it is what it is. Uh, now, what we could do with the text, you can do pretty much whatever you want, really. We can do this, we can enable masking, we can do that, we can just make a big square, we can rotate it, put it right there, and then about 400 in, a bit later, 450, uh, we can actually just uh, drag that in right there. So that's going to look like that. And we obviously need to animate the edit, edited by text as well. And we can just do a simple drag up effect right there. So enable masking, square underneath, uh, 450 in, and drag it up. Now we have the initial animations set. It's going to look like that. Uh, just like so and what you can actually do right now uh, to make the entire transition just completely smooth I guess you could say and just have it well timed is you can actually render this now which I'm actually gonna do I think and you just uh, you, you put it after you've rendered it you put it back in again to create the, uh, the other transition uh, let me just find exactly where I'm gonna render it right there so we're gonna want to drag this out to about maybe two seconds or something uh, better long than nothing and we, 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 we obviously want there to be some time to actually read the fucking text right so uh, just do that and just keep dragging these out and I'm gonna re-render these right here uh, just like so should not take too long uh, just like so and it's gonna look like this just like so and just mark where you kind of want your outro to start mine's gonna be right there so I'm gonna create a keyframe under masking I'm gonna enable masking make a keyframe and you go to the next frame over, or actually no, you don't. You you go to this keyframe right here. You just uh, make make a square. I guess you could do. Just you know do that, and then go over here. And uh, you just want to move that there. You want to go to this one, just move it in like so. You want to go to this one and just move it out. Just like that. Now make sure you actually get the entire thing like that. And now we have that. So anyway, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, comment, do whatever you want. Uh, and yeah, peace.